Hello and welcome back to Benjamite Gaming where it's my goal to bring you fun and fantastic Dofus PVM content. In my last video I proposed the question to you of if you wanted me to continue to go all the way to level 200 in my tailor guides before dabbling in any other professions. More people requested that I would rotate through the professions versus sticking with just the tailor guides. Now hold on though, I know there's people out there that are like, look, you just got to level 100, you're starting to get to where I'm at, don't worry, so here's the new plan. I'm going to try to always have a high level profession guide going and a low level profession guide going at the same time. So I'm doing a jeweler guide today starting all the way back at level one but then the next profession guide will be for the tailor continuing on there. So my goal is to have one going up the higher levels and one going up the lower levels and then once I reach 200 on Taylor, then I will swap and I will grab a new profession to start leveling up at that time. Another really awesome change I'm excited about, I now have shopping and crafting lists separate for both Echo and Elysale. Out of curiosity, I went ahead and got my Echo list together like I normally do, and I checked it against the Elysale prices, and I was actually pretty blown away to see that it was almost triple what it was going to cost on Echo. So sure enough, I went through the process of checking all your guys' crafts and resources, and I came up with a list for you guys on Elysale that is almost half of what it would have been otherwise. If you're new here and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of my future profession making guides, among the other things that I do here on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when my videos go live. All right, in this jeweler guide, I'm gonna show you how to take your jeweler from level one all the way up to level 30. Let's do this. All right, here are the checklist of the resources you're going to want to buy for your crafting list. Echo is in green, Elysale is in blue. Now I do have some comma saving tips as well for you that could cut your cost even more. Those are at this point in the video if you want to jump there first. But if you're ready to keep moving forward, go ahead and pause the video, get your resources, and then we'll pick right back up when we're ready to start crafting. Okay. Now it's time to start crafting the Echo List. If you're on Elysale, jump to this location in the video and that's going to show you the crafts that you need to make for this guide. All right, Echo, let's do this. Okay, the very first thing you wanna do is craft four Coilet Aclos, which will get you to level three. One Puny Owl Pendant to get to level four. Craft one Kamate to get to level five. Craft one Gobble Tear to get to level six. We're gonna craft three Royal Gantai to get to level eight. One Adventure Ring, which will get you to level nine. One Rainbow Necklace, which will get to level 10. Two Blue Peewee Amulets, which will get you to level 12. Then we're going to craft 13 Yellow Peewee Amulets, which will get you to level 19. At level 19, we're gonna craft one Captain Schaefer amulet to get to level 20. And then to jump all the way to level 30, we are going to craft 21 Zest Rings. All right, now let's go over those Elysale crafts. Craft one Courageous Ring to get to level two. Craft one Vital Ring to get to level three. One Puny Owl Pendant will get you to level four. One Kemate will get you to level five. One Gobble Tear to get to level six. One Royal Gantai to get to level seven. We're gonna craft one Annie Mulet to get to level eight. One Adventure Ring will get you to level nine. One Blue Peewee Ring to level 10. One Bandita to get to level 11. We're gonna do one yellow peewee ring to get to level 12. Then we're gonna craft four yellow peewee amulets to get to level 15. Five country rings to get to level 19. We're also gonna do one Captain Schaefer amulet to get to level 20. Three Ecoflip Lux to get to level 22. Then we're gonna craft one more 
Country Ring, which should bump you right up to level 23. Then we're going to craft eight more Echo Flip Lux to get to level 27. Two Bobble Amulets to get to level 29. And then one Sheikah Amulet should push you over to level 30. All right, there you go. Level 30, both for Echo and Illyzale. Now let's go over those comma saving tips I've got for you. Okay, if you're on Echo, I know the idea of spending 7,000 commas to get all the resources you need may not seem like a lot, but perhaps you're new and you don't have a lot of commas yet. Well, 4,000 of those commas come strictly from two peewee feathers. If you fight those peewee mobs yourself with a 100% drop rate, you could cut your costs literally by over half. On Illyzale, your total shopping cost is coming up to about 14,000 commas. But likewise, if you gather the peewee feathers for yourself, you could knock 2,000 commas off of your total cost. Additionally, the 57 demonic rose petals that you need have almost a 50% drop rate. If you go up there into the fields above Astrib and collect those yourself, you could knock off possibly another 2,000 commas from your total price. And finally, eight of the resources that you need there on Elysale come from the Incarnum Island. If you go up there and gather all of those yourself, you could knock another two to 3,000 commas off, giving you a grand total of almost half the cost of all the resources you need to go from level one to level 30. And here's a little bonus tip for anybody on both servers. If you are gonna go up to Incarnum and hunt those resources yourself, slap a hunting weapon on real quick and drop some ground meats. Ground meats can be used to either level a hunter if you haven't done that already, or you can sell those super fast for some really easy commas. All right, that's it. If you could do me one super quick favor and just slap that like button, it really helps the channel out, helps you to promote my videos and let people know that I'm here. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos that I come out with down the road. You all be safe out there and I'll see you on the next one.